namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa pay homage to the blessed one dear friends today april 27 at Damasoka Meditation Center. So I, I would like to deliver talk how to get the male and female novice ordination. So, so as you have everyone the, the paper, so I'm going to read the first paper actually, Samanera and Samaneri. So Samanera means male novice and samaneri means female novice ordination ceremony so the buddhist custom of ordinations begin with the applicant's request to a bhikkhu to permit him to receive a samanera and samaneri ordinations so here is a bhikkhu so who will get the ordinations he must have 10 years uh, rainy retreat. So without having 10 years rainy retreat, he cannot ordain others. Okay, so I'm now 22 years monkhood. <laughs> okay, and then the applicant having received the permission, requested the Sangha to allow his head to be saved. Here the permission means um, when you go to the monast any monastery for getting the ordinations, you must have permissions. If you have the parents, you need permission from your parents before getting ordination. So if you have the wife, you take the permission from your wife. James, did you get a permission from your wife? <laughs> <laughs> so you need the permission <laughs> from your wife or from your husband. Okay, hello. I'm going at Dhammasukha Meditation Center for getting novice ordination. Right? So you need the permission for that. So I'll explain why we need the permission. During the Buddha's time, you know, the, when the Buddha got enlightenment, and he was thinking about his relatives who help him, who, you know, uh, to grow up. And then he was thinking that I should deliver it. I should help my, my relatives to liberate from suffering. So, uh, first times, uh, one of his brother, Nanda, and then Kasapa, all of them, the Buddha's relatives. So Buddha taught them how to get a suffering, you know. And they went to the monastery and listened Dhamma talk from the Buddha. And they became monk. They then came back again at home. And eventually the Buddha's fa father, Suddhadana, he was thinking that the Prince Siddhartha left royal palace. So he was thinking the Nanda will be the second king in Kapilavattu. And later Nanda also became monk. And Suddhodana was thinking that, okay, the Rahula, his son, Buddha's son, Rahula will be the next king. And one day, Buddha came uh, in royal palace for visiting his his father and his wife and son. So after visiting them, then Buddha's wife <coughs> said, "Okay, that one is your father. You should ask him your um, heretics." The Buddha doesn't have anything, you know. So he gave him his arms bow. Okay, take this one. 
And then Buddha is returning back, returning back to his temple. Rahula follow him, follow him, followed him, you know. And then Buddha said to the Venerable Sariputta, Venerable Sariputta, please ordain him. Then Venerable Sariputta did. So when King Suddhodana heard, heard that, he wasn't happy. So who will be the next king? So King Suddhodana went to the monastery and said to, to the Buddha, so next time when you go going to ordain anyone, please ask them, they have permission or not from their parents or from their wife or from their husband. So Buddha said, okay, <laughs> I'll do that. Whatever you said, I will, I'll do that from the next time. So that's why whenever we ordain anyone, we ask, do you have permission from your parents or from your wife? from your husband. That's why he said, permission. Having received the permissions, request the Sangha. Sangha means here, we have the lay Sangha and monastic Sangha. Right? Sangha means from four to up, from four to more. So when here, you see, about 17 people are going to get ordinations. So here, here the, will be the monastic Sangha. Here. The Sangha means from one, two, three, four. Right? So from if one, two, three, no Sangha. We call ordinary monk. Then four, five, six. From four to more, we call Sangha. So here said the request the Sangha to allow his head <coughs> to be saved. The applicant goes away and his head, his saved. Having been saved, he goes to a senior bhikkhu who has more than 10 years old. Okay? And pays pay respect to him as a teacher by bowing down three times. So left hand, right hand join together. And then you bow three times like this. One, two, and then three. Okay? So you bow three times. So when I say, okay, please bow three times, so you have to do like that. Right? Before getting ordination. Then he makes this supplication say, to the teacher and hands over a set of robes to him, reciting a passage prescribed for the purpose. So you hold the robes to hands like that. Okay? And then you recite one passage three, uh, three times. Then, this done, he asks the teacher for the robes which he puts on with the help of a male supporter. So here we have the male supporter already, Christians and then David, right? We are the two supporters. They are get, gaining a lot of merit, actually. You see? And Delson also. <laughs> okay, Delson also. So, three of them, our supporter, they will offer the rope to all of you. Okay, you hold it. Then you'll say, Venerable Sir, I want to get ordinations. So, please receive my rope. So, you give to me, and I'll receive it. Then he re request again, Venerable Sir, please give me the rope. I would like to get ordination. Then I'll give you to, to the rope. Okay, so first time um, you recite the passage and then after giving the rope, then you bow three times. And then when you request again, then I give you the ropes, then you bow three times. Okay. After he has requested that teacher to ordain him as Samanara, novice, he formally takes up the three refuges. So here three refuges is the very, very important 
you have to pronounce very very carefully how I am pronouncing so don't worry we are going to uh, practice here together okay then ten precept so this ten precept you must observe during that this retreat um, so please don't break up any rules whenever you practice meditation here ten days ten days retreat right this is right ten days retreat so don't break up if you break up your rules you may feel guilty then your meditation will go down you know so if you keep it your that precept so in meditate you'll see how you are progressing so that's why the keeping the precept is most important please don't break up okay and I'll stay here until May 3rd if you break up even one precept let me know just come to me I'll give you the 10 precept again all right so he formally takes the three refuses and ten precepts and he has now become a samanara, novice. So as a samanara, he has to request the teachers to be the preceptors. So when you get the ordinations and you have to request to accept the preceptor. So you can you tell me, Venerable Sir, so please uh, I am requesting to you to be my preceptor. So you have to repeat after me and then you will be my student. I will be your teacher. Right? <laughs> then the preceptor gives you a new name in Pali. So I have many beautiful names actually here. I okay. will give you tomorrow, not today. <laughs> so my name is uh, Bhante Satchananda. So all students' name will be, last name will be Nanda. Okay, so I'm going to give you the beautiful name tomorrow whenever you wear the robe, but not tonight. Right? <laughs> so this is the first and then second one here, you see. Handing over the robes to the preceptor. So, what, what will you recite? Venerable Sir, I would like to request you to take uh, this set of robes in my hands and ordain me as Samanera, novice, or Samaneri, the female novice, out of compassion in order, in order that I may become free from the cycle of uh, suffering existences. So you have to recite this one three times. So for the second time, Venerable Sir, I would like to request you to take uh, this set of robes in my hands and ordain me as Samanara out of compassion in order that I may become free from the cycle of suffering existences. For the third time, Venerable Sir, I would like to request you to take uh, this set of robes in my hands and ordain me as Samanera out of compassion in order that I may become free from the cycle of suffering and existences. So who are Samaneri? Please you say Samaneri. Right? And who are Samanera? Please say the Samanera. So three times done, right? After that, then you can give the ropes to me. Then I will take your rope. Right? Then the applicant hands the ropes over to the teachers and then bows three times. As I said, you have to bow three times. One and two and three times. Right? After that, you recite again. Asking preceptor for the ropes. Venerable Sir, I would like to request you to give me this, the set of robes in your hands and ordain me as Samanara, as Samaneri, out of the compassions in order that I may become free from the cycle of suffering existences. 
So for the second time, Venerable Sir, I would like to request you to give me the set of ropes in your hands and ordain me a samanara out of compassion in order that I may become free from the cycle of suffering existences. So for the third time, again, Venerable Sir, I would like to request you to give me the set of ropes in your hands and ordain me a samanara, a samanari of compassion in order that I may become free from the cycle of suffering existences. Right? And then you, I give you the rope. So you keep it one side and then you bow three times. Right? Three times. Then I read the plate, the Raja. You know? So you have to come one by one. I just touch in your head. Kesa. I just touch Loma, Naka, Danta, Taso. And Taso, Danta, Naka, Loma, Kesa. Kesa, Loma, Naka, Danta, Taso. Done. And after that, you have to change the rope. Okay? So everyone have to come one by one. <laughs> right? Then you change your rope and then you come back again. Then you have to request. What, what does that, what do those words mean? These words mean, uh, I'll explain later on because oh. it is, here is no translation. Okay? So this is called actually Asubha Kamatana, the foulness meditation. You know? So the hair is impermanence. So beautiful hair is gone. Right? <laughs> no attachments on it. <laughs> so I'll explain when I give the talk, actually. Okay? What is the meaning of that? Making a request for a samanara. So after wearing the robe, then you come back again. Then you request to the Bhante. Venerable Sir, I would like to request you to ordain me a samanara, a samaneri in order that I may become free from the cycle of suffering existences and attain to Nibbana. Of course, we come here to meditate and then we, everybody wants to get to Nibbana, right? So, everybody wants to get a Nibbana. That's why we are practicing here. That's why we are Dhammasukha. <laughs> so, again, for the second time, Venerable Sir, I would like to request you to ordain me a samanera in order that I may become free from the cycle of suffering existences and attain to Nibbana. For the third time, Venerable Sir, I would like to request you to ordain me a samanera in order that I may become free from the cycle of suffering existences and attain to Nibbana. Done. Right? Then, taking the refuges and then ten precept. So this one you have to be very carefully, you have to pronounce. So here you see, Namo Tassa, this is the Pali term. Don't worry, we'll practice together. But first of all, I have to explain all those things. Then we'll come back again. Then you can repeat after me. All right? So, Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Samma Sambuddhassa. Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Samma Sambuddhassa. Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Samma Sambuddhassa. The meaning, I pay homage to the exalted one, free from all defilements, and perfectly awakened by himself. For the second time, I pay homage to the exalted one, free from all defilements and perfectly awakened by himself. For the third time, I pay homage to the exalted one, free from all defilements and perfectly awakened by himself. Done. Okay? Then taking the three refuges. This is very important. This one you have to be very careful how I am pronouncing. Buddham Saranam Gachami. 
am we have to be very careful okay how i am pronouncing am buddham saranam gacchami dhammam saranam gacchami sangam saranam gacchami dutiyampi buddham saranam gacchami dutiyampi dhammam saranam gacchami dutiyampi sangam saranam gacchami tatiyampi buddham charanam gacchami tatiyampi dhammam saranam gacchami tatiyampi sangam saranam gacchami so i take refuge in the buddha i take refuge in the dhamma i take refuge in the sangha so sangha is so buddha means the waking one dhamma means the the truth and then sangha means the community of monks so for the second time i take refuge in the buddha for the second time i take refuge in the dhamma for the second time i take refuge in the sangha for the third time i take refuge in the buddha for the third time i take refuge in the dhamma for the third time i take refuge in the sangha now the ten precepts so reciting the ten precepts for a samanara samanari so here you see in pali panati patha veramani sikha padang samadhiyami so i take i undertake the training precepts to abstain from killing or harming living beings on purpose so during the retreat please don't kill any living beings even the ant is running but don't press up the foot okay this is the killing don't kill any living beings intentionally if you do that you you, you break up you roll don't do that okay so you may feel guilty when you meditate here see oh i kill the animals i kill the ants then you when you practice meditation here one hour two hours your meditation is going very well so after killing any small ants you know so when you come here you may even 5 minutes maybe 10 minutes you will not, will not be able to meditate because you feel guilty right don't do that and then second adinya dhana veramani sikha padang samadhiyami i undertake the training precept to abstain from taking what is not given okay when you when you become the novice you know novice so from the dining hall is everything free so you just take whatever you want but we as a monk we have 227 rules you have only 10 you right so you come to bante bante i want want to give you please i want to offer you so i like accept it so always the novice is the assistance of the monk so whenever monk need something the novice come and offer but the lay people so they will offer to you right so when lay people will donate then you accept so that way you are purified so whatever you need, you need just tell them they will give you right and number 3 abrahma sariya veramani sikha padam samadhiyami i undertake the training precept to abstain from all sexual activity so here you see even who are husband and wife you see have to be the completely the separate the people who accept the eight precept they cannot stay together they have to be separate you know that's why but here you got a novice ordination no problem you have the separate kuti so this one you can observe very nicely right <laughs> 
So, number four, Musa Vada Veramuni Sikha Podang Samadhyami. And uh, take the training precept to abstain from telling lies, harsh speech, slandering speech, and gossip. So, as today David said, you know, when you in the retreat, everybody have to be silent, quiet, just practice meditation. So if you talk too much, you may break up the rules. You may, you know, something is not, you didn't speak in the past, but you are saying something is lying. So it's better to be quiet and meditate 10 days. So you will be success definitely. Okay? I did here, I practiced here four months and ten days. So I saw how people are progressing here. So we were talking actually the, this morning and you know, with the, the James here. Are you sleeping, James? <laughs> so we were talking about the Bhantis, how Bhante definitely he focused the Sutta and he said, okay, this is the sutta. And then listen, listen the talk and practice it. Then you will progress very quickly. So that one, we, we, we want short, short way. Not the long way to attain Nibbana. Even Buddha was very, he, lo he loved the short, short way, shortcut to attain Nibbana. You know, the long way, no, no, no. Even me, I don't like it. <laughs> so nobody like it, right? So, telling lies, no, harsh speech, slandering speech, and gossip, no gossip. So, this is the rules we have to observe. And then, the number five, Sura Meraya Majja Pamada Thana Veramuni Sikha Padang Samadhyami. I undertake the training precept to abstain from taking all kinds of intoxicant. So here you can keep this precept very well. Be you know, no intoxicant here. No in the cabin, right? Are they, David? <laughs> no. <laughs> so everybody can observe this, uh, these rules. And then number six, Vikala Bujana Veramuni Sikha Padang Samadhyami, after 12 o'clock, no dinner. So today Jerry came, Pante, will they take dinner uh, after tomorrow? No, after 12 o'clock, no dinner. <laughs> so you can drink different kinds of juice, apple juice, orange juice, mango juice, uh, tea, whatever you like. But no food, no, no solid food, okay? Don't take that one. So if you take that, you break up the rules. So from 12 o'clock to the next day, uh, 4 dawn, right? 4 dawn. So 7 o'clock, we'll take breakfast together. And then, Nasa Gita Vadita Visuka Dasana Veramuni Sikha Bodhan Samadhyami. Nasa Gita means no dancing, no singing. Okay. And I take the training precept to abstain from dancing. Of course, we come here for meditate, not for dancing, right? No singing, we will not be sing, sing, singing song. When we will go back home, then it's okay. But here, ten days, no singing, no music. So, as the David said, so during the ten days retreat, please don't use your cell phone. You can just uh, keep one side, just or keep silent or turn off your phone. Try to focus your meditation. We have wonderful teacher, Dalson, you know, so he'll give, his teaching is very, very wonderful, you know, you, you learn from him. So I'll give here only four, four Dhamma talk. So we talk with each other the, yesterday. So today is my talk, tomorrow will be his talk. Tomorrow he's going to give the basic instruction of loving kindness. Of course, I also will talk in my <coughs> the, the, after him, you know. 
So after tomorrow, I'm going to deliver talk about the hindrances. So what are the hindrances? So how hindrances arise when you meditate? And after that, he's, he's going to give another talk. Then uh, I'm going to give about the jhanas. How to attain the jhanas? And how do you understand that you attain the jhana? So what is the characteristic of the jhana? What is the meaning of the jhana? All those things I will explain. Okay? And then the May 3rd will be the, my last talk. So that day, I don't know, what will I talk? I didn't decide yet. I have to take a look at the book. Okay? The, so, no singing, no dancing, no music, and any kinds of entertainment show. If you do that, you break up the rules. That rules, okay? And number eight, Mala Ganda Vile Pana Dharana Mandana Vibhu Sanathana Veramuni Sikapadang Samadhyami. I undertake the training precept to abstain from the use of the flowers. Of course, he had the flowers. Don't, don't put in your nose. Okay? And those who are samanari, so don't put it. No here, but he, she cannot put that. <laughs> okay? No garlands, no perfumes, no and gwens and things that tend to beautify and adorn a person. So don't do that. And the number nine, Ussa Sayana Maha Sayana Veramuni Sikha Padang Samadhyami. I undertake the training precept to abstain from using the high and luxurious bed and seat. Of course, we don't have here Tamasuka. We have the bed, but not too luxurious. So here luxurious means when you sit in a bed, oh wow, this is very nice, beautiful. That, so that way you break up your, your roles. But we don't have such a luxurious bed here at Damasuka, right? So you can keep this preset very nicely. So here, number 10, the Bhante V, Bhante V Malaramsi, he put here number 10, metta saha gathena, setasa saha pana, bhute nu, veramuni sikha padan samadhyami. Actually, number 10, according to the scripture, jata rupa rajata patik gahana, veramuni sikha padan samadhyami. In the scripture mentioned. That means you cannot touch money, you cannot accept the uh, uh, gold. You cannot accept the silver. All those things explain in the number 10. But as we practice loving kindness meditation here, so here, you know, your money, everything is the cabin. So you are not going to touch anything because everything David and Christian organize. So you don't need to touch the money, right? So this is the good things. So Bhante Vimal Ramsi here, instead of that precept, he put here, Metta Saha Gathena. Setasa sabba pana bhute nu veramuni sikha padang samadhyami. That means I undertake the training precept to dwell with my mind, pervading loving kindness towards myself and all beings as often as possible in life. That means when you practice meditation here, this practice not only just you come here and then practice loving kindness no all the time you have to practice all the time keep a smiling so people you know I saw even here in my center in New York when they come first time smile no smiling you know they are very serious I was the one here at Damasuk a very serious meditator and Bhante we told me you are not listening to me. Why? I told you, don't be serious. Don't push too much. Smile. Open up your mind. Then you'll see this meditation is really working. So, my suggestion is to all of you, 
please smile okay have to smile so when you smile you will feel that your mind is light clear and agile you feel that this is feeling and a smiling meditation you must feel it according to the teacher and instruction whatever teacher said so if you feel that then you will understand that this meditation is really work it's really working right so if you don't feel it you know a smiling you are too serious meditator you meditation will not progress the hindrances will come again and again again and again so you have to use six hours six hours six hours so you are so tired so that way you say okay this meditation is not for me i have to leave do you know i'm going to explain one one guy came from hong kong i was practicing there he he was sitting there so here i started practicing from 1:30 to 5:30 one sitting four hours and bante told him to practice lo for loving kindness meditation he couldn't bring up in his mind loving kindness meditation <laughs> he cannot bring up it's very difficult for him then bante we said okay practice forgiveness meditation and even forgiveness meditation he cannot couldn't practice he said i have to leave he was very friendly with me you know he always saw me how i am practicing then one day he said bante bante i decided to leave why what happened he said you know i went to bante we and he said to practice loving kindness meditation i couldn't progress and he changed meditation he said please practice forgiveness meditation even forgiveness meditation i couldn't progress when i close my eyes i remember how how i was fighting with my ex girlfriend <laughs> and i told him no this is not the way how to practice like forgiveness meditation <laughs> then we went to the dining hall and i taught him how to practice the forgiveness meditation and within 10 minutes very quickly progress and he said bante bante i got it i got it wow great okay practice continuously tomorrow bante we is going to change your meditation forgiveness to loving kindness and within 4 5 days he attained the fourth jhana could you believe that within 4 5 days So that's why please follow our teacher in instructions whatever he will say that way you definitely will get a result somebody came from the different countries and other came from the different states from far away i came from new york you know so here in united states we have the two center one damasuka is the big center So I have the one center in New York which teach the same technique the twin same teaching we do that but my center is very small I accept only 6 people one group but here how many 10 right 20 20 yeah 20 Dhammasukha accept 20 people but for my center I accept only 6 people one group 10 days retreat cuz a small house <laughs> not big So when it, if you have any questions you can ask Delson or me or David or Christian so we are going to help anytime you can email to us you can call us right we are going to help you so after accept accepting the ten precept then all of you have to recite together reciting of the ten dhammas in english There are these ten things which one who has gone forth into homelessness should reflect upon always 
what ten? I'm now changed into a different mode of life. From that a that of a layman, I must reflect on it, on this always. May, may my life depends on others. So it depends on others means here we have the supporter, the Elson, Christians, David. So they organize the food for us. So we are very happy. We just meditate, meditate, meditate. So they have the big headache, you know. They are going to organize for food, breakfast, lunch. So we are a happy man, right? A bit. Happy novice. <laughs> <laughs> no need to do anything. So that's why he said, my life depends on others. I must reflect on this always. I must now believe, uh, behave in a different manner. I must reflect on this. Different manner means when you become novice, you cannot behave like lay person. You're completely different. So the lay people, they, do, they behave different, you know, different people, different behavior. But when you get the ordination, so you behave will be completely different, very quiet, good person, very good meditator, you know. So people think that, wow, he's really a good meditator. Do you know what happened during the Buddha's times? Um, Venerable Sariputta and Mughalana. So they, they were friends, you know. They were, they were searching for a good teacher how to liberate. They need a teacher. So Venerable, the, the Sariputta said, they didn't get ordination that time, they were lay people. Sariputta said to Mughalan, okay, you go that way, I'll go this way. If you find a teacher, you come back and let me know. If I, I'll go that way, if I find a good teacher, and after I come back, I'll tell you. Okay, they have good understanding, right? Then, Venerable Sariputta went one way and Mughalana went another way. Then Mughalana, he saw from far away one monk, very quiet, very peaceful. He has only one arms ball and that monk, name is Asazi. He was practicing meditation very quiet, very peaceful, under the tree. So Mughalana saw from far away. He was thinking, should I go or not? Should I go or not? If I go, maybe he feel disturbed, you know? So, okay, I should wait. So when he broke up, break up his meditation, then I'll approach him. Okay, so he was waiting, waiting, waiting. Venerable Asas is practicing meditation very peacefully, very quiet. And he was thinking that what he's practicing now, that his teacher will be there. Very great teacher. So I should ask him. So when Venerable Asas broke up his meditation and he slowly went to him. Venerable Sir, I have some questions. Could you answer me? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, how can I help you? Could you tell me what meditation do you practice? He said, mindfulness meditation. Mindfulness. I am walking, I understand. So, I am eating, I understand. I am hearing, I understand. <coughs> So this is the sutta number 10 uh, that Delson is going to explain that, that sutta. We call him Pali Satipatthana, the full foundation of mindfulness. So when he heard that, he became a streamantra, Mughalana. Just he listened from the Asazi, became a streamantra. And he said, who is your teacher, Venerable Sir? said the blessed one, the awakened one, Gotuma Buddha is my teacher. 
Venerable Moggallana came back and said that message passed to the Venerable Sariputta. And Sariputta became a stream enterer after listening that. You see how amazing the message? Right? So everyone had the potential to attain stream mantra even at Dhammasuka. Who knows? Every, you, you may have the, you know, if you have the quality and per perfection, we say perfection parami, you may get very quickly. Okay? So that's why in a different manner I must reflect on this always. Does my mind censor me regarding the state of my virtue? Virtue means the precept. So whatever you keep the plan precept, you just reflect on it and try to keep the precept as much as you can. So if you can keep the ten precept very properly, then you'll think that, wow, my monastic life is beautiful. I really keep the precept and I feel so happy. My mind is pure, you know, I feel so light. So you feel that, you experience that. So I must reflect on this always, okay? And then, do my discerning the friends in the holy life admonish to me regarding the state of my virtue. So virtue means here sila, precept. I must reflect on this always. There will be a part, parting and separations from all those who, who are dear and loving to me. I must reflect on this always. Uh, of karma, so karma means here action good action and a bad action good karma and a bad karma so the ten precept are the good action good karma so if when you keep that so you fulfill the perfection you know in your life so even this time if you cannot become stream mantra sudhapanna you have because of this perfection the later on you may attain the sudhapanna stream mantra so of karma I am constituted, karma is my inheritance, karma is my origin, karma is my kinsman, karma is my refuge. Whatever karma I perform, be it good or bad, to that I shall be and here I must reflect on this always. How do I spend my nights and days? Of course, as I said, whenever you meditate here and outside the same way try to be that way if you go outside just stay with your, with your spiritual friend when you come back here just radiate loving kindness to yourself 10 minutes and then after 10 minutes radiate loving kindness to your spiritual friend so when you go out stay with your spiritual friend just radiating loving kindness to your spiritual friend do that way how do I spend my night and days we, before going to bed? Still, radiate loving kindness to you, a spiritual friend. I must reflect on this always. Do I take delight in uh, solitude? I must reflect on this always. Have I gained superhuman knowledge, which can be as especially known to nobles one, so that Later, when I am questioned by fellow monks or nuns, I will not be embarrassed. I must reflect on this always. So here one thing, you know, if somebody get the supernatural power, please don't show up to anyone. Okay. <laughs> okay, please don't show up. Because the Buddha already said, if you get a supernatural power, just uh, as... My uncle, Chams, you know, he was, this morning we were talking, I want to get supernatural power and a fly on the sky. <laughs> so, this is not necessary, you know. The most important is to attain Nibbana. 
So during the Buddha's times, one novice. So like tomorrow you'll be the novice, right? One novice. He was practicing, practicing, practicing meditation. He got a supernatural power. He can fly, go from one place to another place. His teacher preceptor said, please don't misuse your power. You may lose it. Don't do that. But that novice didn't listen to him. And he's flying from one place to another place. And when he looked down, he saw one beautiful girl. Then desire arose in his mind. Attachment arose in his mind. And he fell down from there. But that girl was very pious, very religious. And he said, hello. You know, you are so beautiful. I want to get married with you. But she said, don't do that. You are novice. Okay, so you are the higher than me. So whatever you gain, don't try to lose it. And no, 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 I want to get you, I want to get you. So when he touched her, and he lose his power. And he couldn't fly again, you know. So that's why, please, when, if you get the supernatural power, maybe you get, can get it, you know. So when you practice it, the who knows. So everybody have the different perfection. So if you get it, don't use it. Okay, I am mm, Samanera. I am the novice now. I am going to uh, practice meditations. And my purpose is to attain the jhanas. And um, the, all, uh, the base of infinite space, the base of infinite consciousness, the base of, inf in, inf base of nothingness. And then based on the perception, non-known perception, the, the path of instrumental, the fruition of instrumental, the path of one eternal, the fruition of one eternal, the path of non eternal, the fruition of non eternal, the path of Arahan highest beast, and then fruition of Arahan highest beast. Gone. You are in Nibbana. That's all. Right? Or maybe when you attain the first jhana, you have potential to attain Nibbana too. In the one sutta mentioned already Buddha. Right? So these are the instructions uh, here. These are the ten things which one who has gone, gone forth, they must reflect upon always. So these are the basic instructions for the Samanera. And eventually, so applicant, that means all of you, because you are going to get our initiation tomorrow morning. Upajayo me bante hohi. That means you are going to accept the preceptor, right? Venerable sir, please be preceptor of us. Upajayu me bante hohi. You have to say three times. Upajayu me bante hohi. Upajayu me bante hohi. Upajayu me bante hohi. That means, Venerable sir, would you be please be kind enough to be my preceptor? Okay, Venerable sir. Would you be, please be kind enough to be my preceptor? Venerable Sir, would you be, please be kind enough to be my preceptor? Then, I am as a preceptor, I will say, Pasa di kena sampa dehi. Then you will say, Amabante. So, Pasa di kena sampa dehi, that means, please behave well. Then you will say, Amabante. Amabante means, yes, venerable sir, I will. I will. Then, ordination done. Finish. Right? <laughs> okay. So now we are going to um, the practice together. Right? So this is the instruction for today. Now we can practice together. Okay. Now you say the three times, Venerable Sir, I would like to request you to take the, the you see, uh, handing over the ropes uh, to the preceptor. So you hold the ropes and then you recite together this one three times. Okay? Okay. For example, this is the rope, your rope, right? You hold it. Then please, everyone together, 
everyone together recite this one venerable sir i would like to request you to take this compassion in order that i may become free from the cycle of suffering existences venerable sir i would like to request you to take this set of robes in my hands and ordain me a samanera samaneri art of compassion in order that i may become free from the cycle of suffering existences venerable sir i would like to request you to take uh, this set of robes in my hands and ordain me a samanera art of compassion in order that i may become free from the cycle of suffering existences so after doing that then you give the robes to bante right you give me and then you bow three times after that then you'll say again okay this one done right i take it from you and then you'll say venerable sir i would like to request you to give me the set of robes in your hands and ordain me as samanera samaneri art of compassion in order that i may become free from the cycle of suffering existences venerable sir i would like to request you to give me the set of robes in your hands and ordain me as samanera art of compassion in order that i may become free from the cycle of suffering existences venerable sir i would like to request to you to give me the set of robes in your hands and order me as someone else out of compassion in order that i may become free from the cycle of suffering existences so then i give you the robes right so you ask, after accepting the robes then you bow three times right you bow three times and after that then so i uh, and i'll put in your hat this one the, you repeat after me kesa kesa even though it's not there but i will explain later you can repeat after me uh, when i get a dhamma talk i will explain what are the meaning of that okay so kesa kesa loma loma naga naga danta Taso, 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 Danta, Danta, Naga, Naga, Loma, Loma, Kesa, 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 Kesa Loma, 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 Naga, Naga, Danta, Danta Taso, Taso. So done. Then you change your robe. Okay. Just uh, after changing your robe, come back again. Then. so after wearing the robe then you come and then you bow three times one two and three then you'll say venerable sir together please venerable sir i would like to request you to ordain me as samanera in order that i may become free from the cycle of suffering existences and attain to nibbana venerable sir i would like to request you to ordain me as samanera in order that i may become free from the cycle of suffering existences and attain to nibbana venerable sir i would like to request to you to ordain me as samanera in order that i may become free from the cycle of suffering existences and attain to nibbana okay then after that then you have to repeat after me <coughs> Okay, so you have to be like this, left hand, right hand joined together, and then you will say Namo Tas. Na, first I say, then you will repeat after me. Okay, because this is the Pali, so it will be a little bit difficult for for all of you. Okay, that's why I will recite one by one. So that will be that will be much easier for you. Namo Tasa. Namo Tasa. Bhagavato. Bhagavato. Arahato. Arahato. Samma Sambuddhasa. Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Samma Sambuddhasa Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Samma Sambuddhasa 
now together you can read the translation three times i pay homage to the exalted one free from all defilements and perfectly awakened by himself i pay homage to the exalted one free from all defilements and perfectly awakened by himself i pay homage to the exalted one free from all defilements and perfectly awakened by himself now you have to repeat after me buddham saranam gachami dhammam saranam gachami sangam saranam gachami dutiyampi buddham saranam gachami dutiyampi dhammam saranam gachami dutiyampi sangam saranam gachami tatiyampi buddham saranam gachami tatiyampi dhammam saranam gachami tatiyampi sangam saranam gachami so now we can uh, uh, read the together i take refuge together please i take refuge in the buddha i take refuge in the dhamma i take refuge in the sangha for the second time i take refuge in the buddha for the second time i take refuge in the dhamma for the second time i take refuge in the sangha for the third time i take refuge in the buddha for the third time i take refuge in the dhamma for the third time i take refuge in the sangha okay now repeat after me panati pata veramuni sikha padam samadhiyami together now i undertake the training precept to abstain from killing or harming living beings on purpose adinya dana veramuni sikha padam samadhiyami together i undertake the training precept to abstain from taking what is not given abrahma sariya veramuni sikha padam samadhiyami i and that together i and that take the training precept to abstain from all sexual activities musa vada veramuni sikha padam samadhiyami together i and that take the training precept to abstain from telling lies harsh speech slandering speech and gossip sura meraya majja pamadathana veramuni sikha padam samadhiyami together i and take the training precept to abstain from taking any kinds of intoxicants we kala bujana veramuni sikha padam samadhiyami together i and take the training precept to abstain from taking solid food after the noon day meals from 12 noon until dawn nasa gita nasa gita vadita 
విసుకదర్శన వేరముని శిఖాపదం సమాధియామి టుగెదర్ అండ్ ద టేక్ ద ట్రెడింగ్ ప్రిసెప్ట్స్ టు అబ్స్టెన్ ఫ్రమ్ డ్యాన్సింగ్ సింగింగ్ మ్యూజిక్ అండ్ కైండ్స్ ఆఫ్ ఇంటర్ టైన్మెంట్ షో మాలాగంధ విలోపాన దారణ మండన విభూషణ వేరముని శిఖాపదం సమాధియామి టుగెదర్ I and I take the training pieces to abstain from the use of the flowers, garlands, perfumes, ornaments and things that tends to beautify and ordain a person. Ussa sayana Ussa sayana Maha sayana Maha sayana Veramani Veramani Sikha padang Sikha padang Samadhiyami together i and i take the training precepts to abstain from using high and luxurious beds and seats the last one metta sahagathena metta sahagathena setasa veramuni sikhapadam samadhiyami samadhiyami i and i together i and i take the training precepts to dwell with any kinds of pervading loving kindness towards myself and all beings as often as possible in life so the reciting the 10 dhammas in english so we can recite together now okay so together please there are these 10 things which one who has gone forth into homelessness should reflect upon always what then i am now changed into a different mode of life from that of a layman i must reflect upon this always my life depends on others i must reflect on this always i must now behave in a different manner i must reflect on this always does my mind censor me regarding the state of my virtue I must reflect on this always. Yeah. Admonish me regarding the state of my virtue. I must reflect on this always. There will be a parting and separation from all those who are dear and loving to me. I must reflect on this always. Of karma I am constituted. Karma is my inheritance. Karma is my origin. Karma is my kinsman. Karma is my refuge. Whatever karma I perform, be it good or bad, to that I shall be and here I must reflect on this always. How do I spend my night and days? I must reflect on this always. Do I take light in quality? I must reflect on this always. Have I gained superhuman knowledge? which can be especially known to noble ones so that later when i am questioned by fellow monks or nuns i will not be embarrassed i must reflect on this always these are the 10 things which one who has gone forth must reflect on this always okay now um, you are going to accept the um, uh, teacher upajaya so you you can repeat after me upajayu upajayu me bhante me bhante ho hi ho hi upajayu me bhante me bhante ho hi ho hi upajayu me bhante me bhante ho hi Okay, together. Venerable Sir, would you please be kind enough to be my preceptor? Venerable Sir, would you please be kind enough to be my preceptor? Venerable Sir, 
would you please be kind enough to be my preceptor so now i am going to say pasadikena sampadehi then you will say amabante right i'll say three times then you'll say amabante pasadikena sampadehi pasadikena sampadehi pasadikena sampadehi finish Done. You become novice already, right? <laughs> Happiest among and novice, right? So that's all for today. Now, do you have any question? Yeah, if you have any questions, okay. I uh, before finishing my talk. So uh, tomorrow morning, uh, you you are going to get ordinations, and then. Uh, after getting ordinations, we will go for arms round. You just to follow me. I will have the arms ball already. They prepare for me, right? So everyone have the arms ball, okay? So this that side will come and then we'll go together. So you just to follow me how I am walking, <laughs> okay? Right? Everybody take the arms ball and then go slowly and that way. So. Delson, David, Christians, and Jerry, and then others too. So every they will offer the food to arms So you have to open the the cover of the arms bowl. Okay, just you cover like this and you go together. And when they will offer the food, they open it. Then they will offer the food to them, to the 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 bowl. So after accepting the food, then we will bless them. So that one, I think I have to teach you, <laughs> right? So don't worry, I'm going to uh, teach that one very simple. So, but we can say Bhava tu sabba mangalang rakkantu sabba devata sabba buddha nu bhavena sada sutti bhavantuti. Okay, repeat after me. Bhava tu sabba mangalang rakkantu. Sabha Devata Sabha Buddhanu Bhavena Sada Sutti Bhavantuti Bhavatu Sabha Mangalang Rakkantu Sabha Devata Sabba Dhammanu Bhavena Sada Sutti Bhavantuti Bhavatu Sabba Mangalang Rakkantu Sabba Devata Sabba Sanganu Bhavena Sada Sutti Bhavantuti. So, this is the blessing to, for them, you know. So, I will explain detail when I will give the Dhamma talk, okay. So, because they will offer the food to us, we have to give the thanks. Thank you very much. We say in English, but we will say in Pali. Bhavatu Sabba Manga Langra Kanto Sabba. You will see, they will left and right and join together like this for accepting the blessing for us, you know. So then I will say, Bhavatu Sabha Mangalang Rakkantu Sabha Devata Sabha Buddhanu Bhavena Sada Sutti Bhavantuti. We will say together, you know, Bhavatu Sabha Mangalang Rakkantu Sabha Devata Sabha Dhamma Anu Bhavena Sada Sutti Bhavantuti. Bhavatu Sabha Mangalang Rakkantu Sabha Devata Sabha Sangha Anu Bhavena Sada Sutti Bhavantuti. And they will say, Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. Right? David? Yeah. So, this is the one sort of blessing because you will be the holy monks, holy novice here. So you will gain a lot of merit, becoming or getting ordinations, noble ordinations, and then you will practice, 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 practice meditations. So that moment, whoever will offer even one glass of water, they will gain a lot of merit. Let me, let me say one. David, is it a long Dhamma talk today? 
just after saying that then I'll finish okay when I was in uh, Myanmar I was uh, studying at uh, International Theater of the British Mission University once a year we, we went for arms round you know so we have more than 100 students there so one, t one day we went far away actually very far away so when, when we go for arms okay another thing so when you go for arms round we cannot use the shoes no shoes no slipper okay just a little bit you know you don't don't worry i will not use so you just follow me <laughs> okay <laughs> you see we have to be exactly the monks and novice right so don't use the shoes no slipper just after taking the lunch then we can use the slipper or shoes no problem right so we went for arms round and people are donating different kinds of things you know offering uh, noodles and then soap and then biscuits so i was so trusty i need the water because we're walking 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 far away it's very hot very very hot but one lady i saw very far away she's waiting for offering the water she has one glass and then one jug so i don't have intention for taking the soap and then noodle and other things you know i am very trusty i need water so i'm going slowly 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 and after approaching her then she offered me one glass of water and i took from her and then drank i told her please give me one more water <laughs> one more glass. then she gave me and I bless her, you know. So that's why I will say that, you know, people who are meditate. So whoever will offer the food, one glass of water, they will gain a lot of merit. So if you go to Myanmar, you will see especially meditation center. So you have intention to offer the, the okay, I'm going to meditation center. I want to donate today. Three months before, you have to give the name. Otherwise, all fool. Because the Myanmar people, they understand that. The people who meditate, they are very purified. They never break up the precept. Always practice, practice, practice meditation. So if I can offer even little things, we can gain a lot of merit. It's the highest merit. My mom was the meditator. You know, she, she, she was practicing meditation. She went to a different monastery. And I told her, so where, whenever she, she, go for, uh, she goes for practicing meditation and she t told me, Bhante, I am going to that monastery for practicing meditations and I send money for her. And I told her, okay, before going there, you bought uh, one bag uh, rice, big, big bag rice, and then offered at the center. Do you, do you know why I am saying that? So when you offer the rice at the center, and the, they will cook and offer to all meditators. So that way I also gain a lot of merit. You see, and I explained to her. She was very happy. The end of the retreat, and she also <coughs> offered to the Sangha. She offered whatever she has money, and she offered to the Sangha. And she told me, I was so happy. Because I know what she's doing, because I told her, please do this, do this at meditation center. Those people are very purified. They keep the precept, always develop their meditation, always develop their meditations. So this is the great, great advice to all of you. So whenever, uh, if you have intention to donate, okay, please go to the meditation center and offer to them. 
that will get a lot of merit. Okay, so by the power of the Buddha, by the power of the Dhamma, and by the power of the Sangha, may all of you be happy and peaceful, and may all of you meditation be successful, and eventually attain Nibbana, Sadhu. Please say Sadhu three times. Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. So you're going to share the merit now? Uh, I, I forgot this one. Could you give me the paper? Oh. <laughs> so that will happen, I think, the paper, right? Yeah, yeah. So you give to everyone. Everybody can look up. Oh, everybody look up here. Uh, you can look yeah, up. my memory is... I'm not an intellectual monk, you know. <laughs> anyway, so let us share the merit together, okay? May suffering once be suffering free, and the fearless track fearless be. May the grief shed all grief, and may all beings find relief. May all beings share this merit that we have thus acquired for the acquisition of all kinds of happiness. May beings inhabiting space and earth, there was a nagas of mighty power share in this merit of ours. May the long protect the Buddha's dispensations. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu.